point to note some to customers to get it wrong however if you're on a campsite using just gas so you're wild camping you will not be able to use your microwave and you will not be able to use your electric ring you have to be hooked up on your 230 power supply to use those two I'm not going to heat that one up now, you can't see on the demonstration, but I'll show you the gas coming through on the top. Turn it on and ignite on the right hand side, same for that one, and again for the rear one. That's the top fully working. You've then got a separate grill on top, which I've checked and it is working, and a nice little oven underneath that as well. Absolutely perfect. And then around that, you've got storage underneath. As you can see, your chopping board's down there. On the left-hand side, you've got your gas isolation valve. Nothing you need to do to it as customers. It's more for the technicians when it comes in for servicing. Right-hand side of that is your pull-out table that you can use both inside the vehicle or outside in the awning. And a number of drawers on the left-hand side. Storage up top, cups on the left-hand side, Plates on the right hand side, shelving on the right hand side again. When you're not using the utensils in the kitchen area, shut the glass down, put your chopping board on there and draining board, and you've got a nice surface to do what you need to do on top of there. Every window within the motorhome has got a fly screen first, sorry, blackout screen first, followed by your fly screen, and then lift them both up together. In the bedroom area, You've got your nice big double bed. On the left hand side of the bed is your master switches for the lighting area. And you've got your two USB ports. Wardrobes on both sides and wardrobes up above. And you've got your nice big window up above. Blackout screen. Fly screen. There's way to open this one. On each one, you've got a little button that you have to press in for added security. So open up both sides. Number of ways you can have this window, open it up just a little bit and lock it back off again. It's locked, secured, but you've got a draft coming in. Another way, open it all the way up. If there's no draft, absolutely fantastic. However, one more way to use it. It's a little bit windy, but you want it open wider. Bring the handle down, secure it on the back latches, lock it off again the wind isn't going to get hold of it and break it. Please remember to close all windows and doors before traveling and not to travel with them open. Underneath the bed itself, lift it up, lift the bed frame up itself. And as you can see, you've got storage underneath the bed and area. And that's the rear garage that we looked at just now. On the front, you don't have to lift the bed up but you can gain access to your fuse board and switches. However, on the left hand side, that is your hot water container. I've showed you outside how to fill your fresh water, drain your fresh water and drain your dirty water. We now need to drain all our hot water. You know, it's on the left hand side, a yellow valve, stand it up. That's now draining all your hot water out of the vehicle. Fold it away, plenty of walk room around the bedroom area. Just on the side there, you've got your three pin plug, 12 volt adapter, and your both aerial sockets there to have your TV in the rear bedroom. Nice, large fridge, Dometic fridge. Power button on the left hand side. 